Every year for over 15 years, Sand Sculpturing Australia, run by a husband and wife team, share their love and passion for sand sculptures by holding an annual event over Christmas, showcasing large-scale sand sculptures created by artists from around the world. The theme of the sand sculptures changes from year to year, but are usually based on kids' toys, fairy tales, dinosaurs, or famous personalities, such as in early 2018, it was based around Aladdin. This year, it's based around the free-spirited and mischievous young boy who can fly and never grows up, Peter Pan. Now unlike the sand castles you build on a beach with your kids with beach sand, these sand sculptures are artistically moulded out of a special sand mix and are turned into huge life-size structures that can be as large as 8 to 15 feet tall, which can last for at least two months of the year during the annual festival. The sand that is used is called bricky sand and it is different from normal beach sand as the grains are smaller and square, which makes them stick together better. It's also used in mortar by bricklayers. The sculptures are then sprayed with a biodegradable glue, which helps bind the sand together and help repel wind and rain. This process seems to protect the sculptures pretty well, as I went up and tapped on the sand with my knuckles and it felt as hard as a rock. The main benefit of this sand are that you can really create intricate details in the sculpture, and they can be created to any height, and if protected from the rain, can stand for months, even years. And on top of all of that, they are under small shelters that will for the most part protect them from wind and rain erosion. Now depending on the size of the sand sculpture, the average time it takes to sculpt one of this size is around three to four days. But time can be shortened on larger sculptures if two or more artists work at the same time, which some of these sculptures had two to three people working on them as they were so large and detailed. The company who organises the sculptures for the event had artists from around the world working on them, from such places as Italy, Japan, Hungary, Russia, Colombia, Portugal, France, Netherlands, Peru, and yes, even Australia. The only thing I personally did not like about the display was that for the last 10 years it had been held in a very accessible and popular location on Frankston Beach but this year was moved to a remote location in the countryside, miles from any beach. But regardless of that, it was still a very impressive display. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.